as you get close to the rollout of your one-to-one -one program, you're starting to focus, no doubt, on technology and the infrastructure that will be required to make this effective. What are the elements of that infrastructure planning that you have to take account of? Why should you be thinking about infrastructure as a strategic asset? The best way we could think of uh, helping you in the answer of those questions was to talk to some of the leaders for the implementation execution in one-to-one -one schools around the world. Here's what they had to say. To launch a one-to-one -one program, it's not enough simply to hand out laptops. It's not just the device, but the device has to hang off the network. So in infrastructure is equally important. Infrastructure is what you don't see. It's the invisible backbone that ensures that all these laptops work. The key too is the, with any type of equipment. If it isn't working, then the teachers get frustrated and the students get frustrated and they're not going to use it. To get everything working, consider the main components of infrastructure. There's probably four, four priorities. Um, a good wireless infrastructure, uh, a good network backbone, a good server infrastructure and also an excellent support structure as well. In other words, make sure your IT staff is ready to solve problems as they arise, whenever they arise. Their goal is to always have what's called uptime, never downtime. So we really strive for 100% uptime uh, during the classroom time and outside of classroom time. Uh, the reason for that is with the one-to-one -one laptops, the students can access this at school, after school, while they're waiting to go home, uh, when they go home. It's, it's a 24-7 operation, so we, we have to manage it completely differently. Uh, reliability and robustness of that infrastructure is critical. Consider to the scale. A one-to-one -one rollout for a few hundred laptops calls for a different implementation plan than one for tens of thousands of laptops. Generally what we do is we have an implementation rollout plan that we follow. So we have where we do a small group and then we'll do one school and then we'll do two schools and then we'll do an entire, like all the elementaries, all the middles, all the highs, whenever we do any kind of changes to that infrastructure just to vet to make sure that uh, there's not going to be negative consequences. Because in the end, there's only one bottom line. Yeah, the conditions, I think, can be summarised as everything must work. That's the bottom line.